my senior year of high school, like I was done with baseball. I didn't want to do, I don't want to really? see a baseball. I don't want to touch a baseball. I was just like pissed off. Like I was just burnt out. I worked so hard to like, and I was seeing these people around me, like who were half-assing everything, mm-hmm. throwing harder than me, coming into these schools. And I was just like, oh, this is unfair. Like this is f- stupid, whatever. So I, I got over that and I was like, okay, I'm just going to have fun now. Like I don't for you. like, forget it, bro. Like I'm going to go to this school. Uh, I went to a post-grad school. It was Bridgeton Academy up in Maine. So instead of doing my freshman year of college, I was up here with just like, it was a 200 person, all guys, all athletes school in Maine. So like all you can do is work like all and grind and whatever, and like lift. So like, that's what I did. I leaned into that and just made that kind of like my lifestyle. I was like, I'm going to lift, I'm going to vlog. And uh, cause I love making videos. I'll do the game day vlogs. Cause my coach was all in it. He's like, do whatever you want to do, whatever, film the dugout, all that kind of stuff. He was super you know, open about it. And I just had fun with it. And then I committed to a school out here, a D2 school. And I was like, I don't care. Do you want to do whatever? I want to be in California. Um, yeah, man. And then once I just opened my perspective to like, let's make videos and let's have fun playing baseball, like mm. stuff started to kind of connect. I remember I had like th- three or 3,000 or 4,000 subs. I was still up in Bridgeton and I messaged um, Taiki Green, who was like, he was mm-hmm. a co-founder of Momentum, which is yeah. Trevor Bauer's whole mm-hmm. media company. Now Taiki actually lives out here and does his kind of own production company. But I remember saying like, yo, I kind of want to, like, I want to work for Momentum. I yeah. want to be with like Eric Sim and those guys. And he was like, dude, like you could do that, but also you should try to build it yourself. Yeah. And like, cause he's like, you got something that like a lot of people don't have where you're like, I can be on camera, but I can also edit. I can mm-hmm. also come full up package. with ideas. Full, yeah, full package. I appreciate that. Yeah. But like full <laughs> package, you know, like that, but that's just what I love to do. Mm-hmm. I just love the whole process. Like I was saying. So Taiki was like, dude, build it yourself. And then maybe you could work for momentum. Uh, and like you already blew up. Before. The, yeah. Right. Like <laughs> that was the thing. And then, you know, I'm collaborating with them. They're yeah. peers now. Like Eric Sim, like me and Leo were literally out to ice cream with like the Bat Bros <laughs> yeah. and Eric Sim the other night or the other week in Arizona. Like it was just, I was looking around this table. I'm like, bro, that's King of Juco there. Like yeah. this is so weird. We're just yeah. at ice cream. Like it was so funny. <laughs> um, yeah. So like, and that was just from, you know, like hard work and, and kind of like iterating and reiterating and just like learning what works and what doesn't work and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. now I'm kind of doing it on my own, which yeah. I'd actually, I kind of like more because I was never one of those people who could like, fit in a company or fit in like a normal structure. Mm-hmm. So like I, I, once I recognized that about myself, I was like, I'm just going to be the best at being like what doing what I'm doing on my own kind of thing. And I think it's so important. Um, that awareness piece, like, um, I think I knew like my sophomore junior year of college, it was like, yo, I can't work for somebody like I can in a means to get to the point where I can, but I think it's an important element for anybody figuring out what they want to do to have that self awareness. Like I think especially as a creative person, mm-hmm. like, it would hurt me to do creative work for somebody else and I have another idea and they say mm-hmm. no, you know? All right, if you like this clip, make sure you hit the like button and also go check out the full episode which is linked right above me and you'll get the full interview and watch everything this person has to say. And if you want more clips just like this, you can also go to the bottom video which is a playlist with all the clips from our podcast, The Root of Everything, where we interview passionate people that have found success doing what they love to do to inspire you to do the same 